What sort of short-sighted scheme have you cooked up now, huh? Since when am I short-sighted? You will be if you lie to me. Oh, good, you are home. Here. What's this? A box. Well, yeah, I, I, I can see that. What's the occasion? Christmas? No. Claire and I don't do Christmas. Oh my God, it's your birthday. Oh my God, it's not. Oh my God, you don't know when my birthday is? Well, yes, of course I do, but this is Blair. Who happens to be standing right here she all day She doesn't long. always play by the rules. Look, it's no occasion, all right? I, I just don't want it. So you're re-gifting? No. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah kind of, yeah, I guess. Well, what is it? I, I don't know. You don't, you don't know what's in the box? Uh, well, I, whatever, I, I don't want it. Well, what makes you think I want it? Oh, you want it. It's from Eli. Blair, <laughs> crazy. It could be a bomb. It's not a bomb. <laughs> Radioactive. It, it, it's fine. The police checked it out. Well, by all means, let's open it. The house where I live with my wife and my daughter. Eli left this for me? Well, actually, for me. So you're here to potter off on us? All right, you know what? I'm not going to open it. I just... As my attorney, if I were to open it, what should I do if there's something in here that implicates me? Eli's dead. So I'm safe. Legally? Yeah, but you know that already. Blair, you don't need a lawyer to tell you what to do. You need a friend. You're asking advice from Taya? That's a first. Don't be mean. No, oh, that's why he belongs with you, Taya, because you can handle him. Uh, you know, I take that back. Nobody can handle you, Todd. I'm out of here. Get no, no, way. Todd, don't let her go. Come on. Get out of my way. Okay, I have to follow orders. Uh, Blair, listen, I'm glad you came. We have all suffered because of Eli. Hell, we still are. I can't take an aspirin without opening a whole new bottle. And then even, even at that point, I'm afraid someone's tampered with it. I'm afraid to open this stupid box. I should have just, just thrown it away. But you had to come all the way over here to figure that out. I think you should open it. You do? Yeah, I mean, you always wonder, won't you? But uh, what if... What? Well, this is Eli we're talking about. I mean, no tell him what's in the box. Well, you said the police checked it out. They did check it out. Well, then it's probably not a severed head or anything like that. Todd. Well, she said she was scared. I was scared. I am scared. I don't know why, but I'm scared. Look, my gut tells me that there is nothing in there that's going to harm you. OK, fine. Well, then you open it. Blair, you were his wife. Well, you were his victim. So were you. No, I was nobody's victim. Blake. I shot the man. Yeah, with Remember? Blake's, all right? All right, all right, all right. It, all right. Okay? Jeez, I'll open it. Okay. What are you doing? Todd. No, Todd. Oh, don't be No, Ridiculous. I have a key, dummy. Well, don't you want to see me smash your box open? <laughs> huh? Kinda. All right. <clears throat> On the count of three. One, two. Two. Now. What do you want? A murderer, you know what? John, who was murdered? A guy by the name of Eddie Ford. What could that possibly have to do with us? Not you. Him. I, uh... I found this at the scene. What is that? It's a cufflink. Mm-hmm. With the initials TM. I found this at the scene. What is it? It's a cufflink. The initials TM. What does it have to do with me? Well, it's your cufflink. We found it at the Minuteman Motel in the room where Eddie Ford was murdered. Okay. Hang out at the Minuteman. <sighs> I, I was nowhere near your murder scene. This is yours, though, isn't it? You are under absolutely no obligation to answer any of his questions, Todd. For the record, I think as his wife, I would recognize his possessions. And um, I've never seen this in my life. You know, Todd doesn't know who Eddie Ford is. He wasn't over at Dorian's at Thanksgiving when Eddie was making trouble. Well, but he might have heard about it, you know, and 
James Ford was Eddie's target that day, and from what I understand, James and Star are very close, aren't they? Well, does James know that his father's dead? I mean, do any of the boys we know that? We are working on that right now. If they don't know, I'm sure they'll find out soon enough. The media's all over it, present company excluded. Would I have to cover every story personally? So was that your beef with this guy, Eddie? Uh, Star was upset because he was knocking James around. Whatever was going on between Eddie Ford and his son is none of my business. Like Claire said, I didn't know the guy. That's your story, Manning. What is this? Are you accusing Todd of murder here? Look, I'm, uh... I'm just asking a couple questions uh, They're here. questions that make it sound like Todd's a murder suspect, well, John. I'm sure Todd can clear this whole thing up, right? Where were you last night? I was with my wife. All right, well, now we're getting somewhere the whole night. You're basing a lot on one cufflink detective. No, I'm just following the evidence. If the <laughs> T and the M stand for Todd Manning and was found at the scene, I gotta come talk to you. You should be concentrating on other suspects. In fact, I have a couple names for you. You really think you're gonna find the mate to that cufflink amongst my husband's possessions? Well, if I don't, he's off the hook, isn't he? Unless he's got something else to hide. Detective McBain, you know damn well you're not conducting a search here without a warrant. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Well, I'm getting one. I'll give you a chance to go move things around. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go talk to Rex Boss. Wait, wait, John. What does Rex have to do with any of this? Oh, Todd hired Rex to investigate Eddie Ford. Did he tell you that? No. You did. I knew he was investigating someone, but um, by your reaction, you just confirmed it. So you want to tell me why you hired a private investigator to investigate someone you supposedly didn't have any connection to? Don't you get over yourself, John? I never said that I hired Rex to work for me. You did. Whatever you say, Todd. I look forward to seeing you all and in your future. Okay. You want to tell me what's going on here? Why'd you lie to John? How do you know he was lying? Because I had those cufflinks made for Todd when we were married, and they were one of a kind. That's weird. I forgot you gave me these cufflinks, Blair. You forgot. <laughs> well, I haven't worn them in some time. Mm. Found the other one upstairs. That explains why I didn't know about them. But it doesn't explain why you uh, lied to John. It wasn't a lie. It was an oversight. And was it an oversight when you didn't admit to having hired Rex to investigate Eddie Ford? Because uh, I happen to know differently. That's two for two, Todd, so why don't you tell us what else you're lying about? 